Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today and I'm going to be going through with you how to set up your Android devices to make money. So this isn't going to be a video per se about setting up specific apps. That's simple. You download the app and you start using it to make money. This is going to be how I configure each one of my phones. So all the configurations, where the apps are on the home screen, it's all standardized for every single phone. Let's go ahead and get started here. I have a document that I'm actually going to be following. This is like my doctrine for setting up money making devices that are Android devices. So that way I don't miss anything ever very standardized so the first thing you got to do is obviously go through the setup wizard that's pretty much with every phone you connect to Wi-Fi you get an email that's signed into your phone I recommend you create one unique email for every single device you can do it how you want this is just how I do it so that way it has a unique identifier I also name my phones and give them numbers the the email is just so there's like in, in some extra email in case if one app is like one account per phone and this email is always delegated to this phone. I don't have to make it halfway through whenever I find a new money making app. I also recommend you have one payment email you designate. That way you have one account that is linked to your PayPal or a credit card, or you just put Google Play gift cards on. So when you buy stuff like VM Lite VNC server to help you make money, you don't have to buy it for every single unique email you have on all your phones. You have one designated account as the payment account. And of course that can be a unique email. You just also have to designate it as an account that's going to be signed in on all the phones. Now that email I did after I got to the home screen because you can't do two emails at once in the setup wizard. So once you do all that, you got to start downloading apps. The only two apps I've downloaded are Root Checker and Mobizen Mirroring. Mobizen Mirroring is for this video and Root Checker was because I rooted the phone. That's another thing you guys want to do. I recommend rooting the phone. You'll see, you'll see some examples on how that's useful later on in this video. I can't go through how to root every phone. It's different for every phone. Google it or ask the form or group with that. But once you got it rooted, download all your apps. Let's go ahead and start here. Here are the apps you want to download. They're in the document, but I'll also read them off as I do them. So App Freezer, you want to download Disable Service. You want to download VM Lite VNC Server, ES File Explorer, APK Extractor, Keep Screen On, Set Orientation, Notifications Off, and Quick Reboot. None of these are money-making apps. They just help us make money more efficiently. I have a tip for you guys if you have several devices you're doing at once. Use the Google Voice Activated Search. So that way, instead of having to type in the app you want to download next on all the phones, you can just activate the Voice Activated Search on all the phones and then you can speak into all of them at once. So once you download all those assistance apps, you wanna actually download the money-making app you're gonna be using. In this case, it's AdLove for me. Uh, it could be a Perk app, it could be Swagbucks, I don't know, whatever the phone's used for, go ahead and download that app. If the app you're using requires Facebook sign-in, like if you signed up with Perk with Facebook, then what you wanna do is you want to download Facebook, you can sign in on that app, so if you ever clear the cache on that, uh, on that phone for the money making app you're using, you can easily get the Facebook credentials from the app and it'll be easier to sign in. Don't forget to turn off automatic updates before you leave the Google Play Store. The reason I recommend you do this, well, that's for another video. I've already made that video. We wanna be able to monitor everything that we get, uh, any downloads, any updates, just in case if something goes wrong. Once that's done, you can go back to the home screen, and as you can see, there are all the apps. I also recommend you put the Gmail widget here on the second page. This is really an optional thing for me because sometimes that unique email isn't directly used for apps. I just have it as an identifier, so I'm not going to add it for this phone because it's not particularly useful. But I'm going to shove all these in a folder except for a few of them, and I'm going to call the folder tools. Also, remove any bloatware on your phone. I got Best Buy and Sling here. You can also freeze those with App Freezer here in a little bit. You can go ahead and put that money making app on the home screen. I recommend the first page and put them in the same place for every single phone. Now for the dock. I recommend putting these apps in this order on your dock. I gotta go ahead and remove phone and messages. We're not texting or calling people, we're making money. And Google, this actually goes on the second page right by the Gmail widget if it would exist. Like I said, money making app already right there. First thing I put over here on the far left is the settings app. After that, I put the Play Store, then you have this, then you have Google Chrome, and then I'll usually put Quick Reboot on the far right. This is how every single phone looks. Now I kept camera here for a reason. Now I'm gonna get rid of this background and I'm gonna add a black background. I do this for every single phone. Usually what I'll do is I'll just uh, take a picture of my desk face down because I want a black background on every single phone. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, I want to do this. That way the backgrounds are not different on any of the phones. They're all black. It helps with remote access as well, which is why I believe TeamViewer changes the color of the screen to blue when you connect to the computer. Once you do that, you get rid of camera. And the next thing we're going to be doing is doing stuff in the settings. So go ahead and go to settings. 
under wireless and networks, go to more and turn on airplane mode. This is going to mess up my MobiZen streaming, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Basically what I did, I turned on airplane mode and then I turned on Wi-Fi. The reason I turned on airplane mode is because I wanted to get rid of any SIM card signals that were being sent out. We just use our money making phones on Wi-Fi. There's no need for any, uh, you know, that, that other stuff. So with that out of the way, go to emergency services now, if that's available and more. And yeah, I can't disable them on the Moto G. So what I do then is I go to disable service and I actually get rid of emergency services that way. Emergency services are like when there's a flash flood warning in your area. The only thing is it, it interrupts the money making process and it sounds on all the devices. We don't need to be warned that much about a flash flood. We can get it on our main phone. It'll be just fine. So you can find it in here and disable service. There it is, emergency alerts. It's going to ask for uh, root access here. So this is an example of where you need root access in order to do stuff with your money making phone. I'm just going to go ahead and disable all of these so we never get emergency services. You go back to settings, you go to display. For now, automatic brightness is okay, but once I'm set up, I usually turn that off and then I put the brightness level as low as it goes. The reason I do that is because I never look at the phone screens myself. Readability on the phone screens is irrelevant to me. I do everything from remote access on my computer. And by having the brightness lower, it's easier on the display. It reduces heat output and power consumption. So I think it's better overall. But, you know, if, if you do use your phones with the screen, maybe full brightness is better. Next in sleep. Put that as high as it goes, I'm getting kind of annoyed of the screen locking on me. And if you're money making and something happens, you don't want the screen to lock up, you just might as well keep it open. It also helps with remote access whenever things are, con when the screen's constantly on. Some phones go to infinite. This one only goes to 30 minutes, so we have another fix for that. You go to back and into my tools folder, which I still need to rename to tools. Keep screen on. Go here and just click that screen on. Now it will never sleep. Ever again, this screen will be on infinitely. Daydream, turn it off. We don't need that fancy feature. Uh, font size normal, that's fine. When device is rotated, stay in portrait view. This is one of the measures we use in order to prevent the phone screen rotating while we're watching videos. That messes up the VNC window, which is why I do that. Go back, go to sound and notification, turn everything off. We don't need any sounds from our money making phones. No, nah, vibrate calls doesn't matter. Let's see. Other sounds, turn them all off. I don't like vibrate on touch either. You can have that on if you want, though. When device is locked, don't show notifications at all. This doesn't matter much because I am going to get rid of the lock screen. And then I'm also going to disable notifications completely. Yeah, see, app notifications. This would be a good time for me to show you, uh, what's it called? Notifications off. I believe this also requires root. So, yeah, let's just wait for this to load up. Yep, it's, it's asking me for root access. Clear all. So that just turned off notifications for every single device. I'm also going to go into settings while I'm here, or options, and disable notifications for new apps. So if we ever download new apps, it'll automatically get rid of notifications for us. And then I have to actually click the save button up here, close it, and as you can see, it got rid of all the notifications at the top, and they'll never appear again. All right, back to settings, go down to security, no screen lock. Unknown sources, turn this on under security. If you ever sideload APKs, this has to be enabled. Go down to about phone, find the build number. It should be somewhere in here and tap it a few times. I just like to have this on developer options. You actually have to do it to root some phones. OEM unlocking, yeah, I might as well have it on. USB debugging, turn that on. And then also stay awake. This will be another measure to actually keep the screen on when we're plugged in. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what other things are important in this folder called tools, set orientation. I do this at portrait. It's just natural to keep things upright. And then also VNC windows prevent them from rotating. Set orientation is necessary in most cases. It really forces the apps, even like the video apps that rotate everything to landscape. It'll keep it upright, which is great. I even download a few of these sometimes because the other one glitches out, the other one catches it. So you really want to make sure they those uh, stay upright in most cases. And yeah, that should be about it here. And then VMLite VNC server, of course, configure that, but that is not for this video. That is how I set up all of my money making phones. And then I can get started using it. Sometimes I'll configure the way things look in quick reboot. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for this, uh, this 
setting up your money making phone stuff like how you configure all your phones so everything's standardized feel free to let me know i can always edit that document in the description if i missed anything you can also find it in that document i'm gonna double check this setup since i was making a video while i did it i might have missed something but anyway i'll talk to you guys later with more money making videos showing you guys the room where i make 1200 dollars a month if you do want to see the routine video for actually how you can make 1200 dollars a month i'll leave a link on the screen and also in the description basically we're gonna start with all 30 phones or roughly 30 phones and we're going to move on to my money making computer